after the assembly of the microscope itself is done, we also have uh, two eye pieces that will be coming here. Both are with magnification of 10. For the dispersion testing, normally we will use magnification of 100 according to the norm. And you see the glass uh, uh, lenses here and IPCA. This is with magnification of 10 and we will find 10 for this one as well. Uh, you see which one is 10 here. This one is with magnification of 10. And it will give us 10 multiplied by 10 or 10 multiplied by uh, CCD camera that is 10 and it will give us uh, total magnification of 100 and also we have a um, cover here for the third eyepiece uh, we can close it we can open it the the neck for the eyepieces we have here movement of the table and two sides x y here like this when you put the glass slide in the microscope this is a calibration glass slide you can move it to adjust the requested area just uh, under the object piece this is object piece like this and we have a height adjustment it just uh, this wheel adjusts the height of the table that is z direction for the table and also in this wheel we have a fine adjustment when you are rotating this wheel uh, it just moves the table very uh, finely for big movements use this wheel and for fine movements fine adjustments you will use this wheel and also here uh, we have grip for the sample and that's all nothing the lamp will be on by this key and adjustment of the light value will be done via this wheel you see the light value going down and raising and you're turning this wheel in this direction <coughs> Okay, uh, this is the assembly of the mm, dispersion tester, that is a microscope and CCD camera and all other tools that will be used for preparation of the samples. The next video I will show you how we will install the driver. At first we will go to install the driver for the CCD camera and then we will use a software to analyze the pictures and measure the agglomerate sizes according to the norm and define the gradient dispersion.